From the framing stage until it's finished, furnished, and lived in, there are hundreds of decisions to make about the methods and materials used to build your new house. One area that's sometimes overlooked is the need to provide exterior insulation over places where it is difficult or impossible to insulate from the inside. And even a wall that is thoroughly insulated from the inside can benefit from exterior insulation. That's because every stud acts as a conduit through which heat and cold can leave or enter the home. The process is called thermal bridging. This winter photograph shows thermal bridging at work. You can see exactly where the heat from inside the home is leaking out through the studs and melting the frost on the exterior. Sheathing those areas with insulating foam breaks the bridge and makes the home more energy efficient. Doug Bybee is a technical specialist with Dow Building Materials. Michael, here's a good example of where heat loss can occur in a wall. You can see on this wall we have electrical sockets. Uh, wherever there's electrical socket, of course, there's no, no insulation. insulation there. Okay. Down here we have another electrical socket with blocking under it, and so there's no insulation in this area. So that's why it's very important here to have an insulating sheathing on the outside of the wall. Uh, if there was no insulating sheathing, then all of these areas where heat loss can occur uh, would not be insulated. So now you do have insulation in those areas. There's a lot of places where you frame up heavy for the weight of the house or to support something. I know it's right behind you there around the window. A lot of wood. That's right. Yeah, a lot of wood around windows. And of course, wherever there's wood, you're not going to have insulation unless you have an insulating sheathing on the outside. Insulating foam boards are also used to increase energy efficiency inside the house on walls that separate unair conditioned attic space from the air conditioned interior. It's a real good idea to have insulating sheathing on the outside of walls that face attics because those walls are going to be subject to outside conditions. Insulating sheathing also protects against the formation of moisture inside the walls. And moisture problems can occur in houses when hot moist air reaches a cold surface and condenses into liquid water. Foam sheathing in that case would prevent condensation on the back side of drywall, for instance, when it's hot and humid outside. Mm -hmm.